well come into the show we have just finished offloading here at our first drop now we got to find our way to the next drop yeah it's 10 to 9 right now eastern time so uh speed limit reduced to half yeah we gotta hammer down and try and make all our deliveries right Mile. That's going to be the challenge. To the right on I-75 South. Although I think at the next place, I think I only have one drop, so it might be a little bit. Yeah, I mean a little bit quicker than it was here, right? So it's Speed just a warning. matter of uh, try and get to the customers on time, right? Well, what I mean is uh, not really on time. I don't really have an appointment time at any of these other places. The only thing is, the entrance to the right on I seventy five. I gotta south. try and uh, make it there. Uh, uh, like at the last delivery before four in the afternoon, right? That's the only thing that I have to worry about. But hey, we finally got unloaded at this place, so took these guys about forty five minutes. Offload 12 pallets, but hey, now we're empty, now we're hammered down, right? Should be at the uh, next place around eh, quarter to 11, 11 o'clock, so if that doesn't take long to get offloaded over there, then uh, I should be at the other place at least by 12, I would say, and then... Uh, as long as I get offloaded by 1 o'clock, I'll be alright, I think. At the third stop is what I'm talking about. Yep. Oh shit, we gotta, we gotta stay in the right lane here because uh, we gotta make a right-hand exit right here. That's just it. We gotta go on to that... Uh, well, it says 20, uh, 68, but... I don't know. They got everything under construction up here, so it's kind of... Alright. No, I think the exit is a little further down the road there. I think I'll be coming it's underneath there. Miles take you at 68 but anyways, let's US get on down the road, guys. Let's find my way down here and... See what happens, right? I am coming into Columbus, Ohio right now, ladies and gentlemen. It is a beautiful sunny day today, that is for sure. But hey, we gotta go ahead and find our delivery up here. I got both of my GPS is going, my Google map and my Rand McNally. I set it all up over there when I delivered at the other place to, to go up to this Speed place. So I'm trying to find it. Hopefully it won't be too, uh, too much of a hard time finding it. Yeah, oh well. At least it's only one pallet at this this place, so it shouldn't be too bad. But always the hardest part is finding it, right? It's always the hardest part, so... Anyways, let's go in here and let's make our delivery, guys. Here we go, guys. We have just finished delivering our second delivery. That didn't take long. In half mile, it was a bit weird. I had to get into it, the place, but hey, east. we did it. We really did it. Now I got eight miles to my next delivery. So that's not too bad, I guess you can say. Yeah, oh well, I gotta make sure I can get onto the road that I'm supposed to be on, right? So here you can see uh, downtown a little bit, I guess you could say. Yeah, we're gonna hammer down and get towards our next delivery, which is only six miles away, but hey. At least it's not too far of a drive. Yep, that's just it. We'll see how fast they are going to be about uh, getting me offloaded. I think I got 15 pallets for them, so we'll be almost empty by the time we get out of there, that's for sure. But yeah, that's an old part of town up here, that's for sure. Actually, that the place where I just delivered, man, that was an old building. I couldn't believe how old that thing looked. 
Yeah, that's probably a hundred years old, that building. But, oh well. Let's go make our next delivery up here and we'll be good to go, right? Hopefully we can get unloaded here before uh, one o'clock in the afternoon and we'll be all right. That gives us about an hour and three quarters, so they should have enough time to do that, right? I think so. We have gotten our third stop off, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed we have. I am really, really happy about that, that's for sure. Now we're gonna hammer down and get on down to our last final delivery. That's it. Yeah, only got uh, six more pallets on this load. So we're good to go. Yep, that's it. I probably have enough time somewhere to stop right now and grab me a quick bite to eat. So I will probably do that once I get out of town here. I'll probably find me a truck stop somewhere and quickly run in and grab me something and then we'll be on our way again. But yeah, it's only uh, quarter to 12 right now. So we got unloaded pretty quick there. So that makes me happy. Only got 132 miles to go. And should be there around two o'clock. If we stop somewhere, maybe 2.30, but that's still early enough. They close at four, so should have no problem getting there and deliver our stuff, right? That's what I'm thinking. Hey guys, I don't know what's going on up here, but we got all kinds of flashing lights up here. You see up, up there on the left, there's like a lot of police vehicles up there I'm not sure what's going on I saw the previous ramp was closed already must be some kind of action going on up here today either the president is in town or I don't know some kind of funeral or what but yeah there is a bunch of police vehicles up there I'm telling you guys I don't know if you guys can tell there if the camera can pick it up I'm sure the camera picks it up but you see all these people up here on their top of their vehicle or pickup or whatever and then they're uh, videotaping or whatever and up there on the overpass you can see the fire department up there and the other overpass had the fire department up there and they they had the flag up there and whatever so I don't know what's going on if they either a funeral or something or yeah, I have no idea, but it looks quite neat, quite interesting. I saw the helicopter fly here a little bit ago too, so something definitely very important is going on. I'm just trying to get through here and <laughs> of course everybody's coming to a stop. They want to see the action, right? And I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I see a ton of more flashing lights coming up there. There's some motorcycles up there. They cop motorcycles and whatever, but just trying to get through here it doesn't seem like that's going to be easy. <laughs> yeah, even the truckers are parking here on the shoulder and videotaping everything. I'm like, okay, not sure what's going on, but come on, guys, let's go. You can videotape somewhere else. Park it somewhere if you want to videotape. Don't be driving in here and trying to take pictures or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I see a bunch of flashing lights up there. That's for sure. There's got to be a couple of hundred cop cars up here. That's... Yikes. I'm, I think I'm going to go get in the middle lane here. Because all these other guys up here on the right, they're trying to pull over somewhere or merge on or whatever, right? So, you see all them flashing lights, guys? That's just amazing. They got a couple of hundred vehicles here, that's for sure. I see some more fire department guys up there. You guys can go on the internet and you guys remember I'm seven days behind, so... I have no idea what's going on, but... Doesn't matter really to me. I just want to get on down out of here. I need to go and uh, exit up here ahead here though. So I might want to try and get back into the right lane up here, but... Some kind of celebration or something, that's for sure. All right, let, let me get back in the right lane here. Because I need to get on to 71 here, so. 
in the half mile. We can do it. I 71 South. I 71 North. Wow, that's a big distraction there. That's for sure. Oh, you want to get up here, or you want to? This big truck has got a single light on too, but I'm not sure where he's trying to go. But anyways, let's get on down the road here. If I see something really important here or whatever, I guess we'll turn the camera back on. But right now everything looks all right. We should be able to get on down out of here now. Looks like the traffic is finally clearing up. In 0.2 miles, keep to the right on I-71 yeah, as far south, as I-71 can see, north. And then keep to the right more in 0.2 more and more miles. Lights, so. Yeah, it almost looks like some kind of celebration because I got all kinds of tow trucks and blah blah blah. All kinds of vehicles up there, that's for sure. Have a look at this up here on the sign, guys. It says Trump Avenue. Oh, look at this four wheeler. <laughs> the lane ended over there, and he is. Alright, I gotta get ahead of that truck, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess there's a lot of. I don't know, I don't like to say stupid people are on here, but some people that are really driving like miles. idiots. Turn left on the Haunting Road. That pickup truck that's up ahead of us, there, the white one there just passed me on the shoulder there. Just before that, <laughs> like only a mile before that or something like that. So, yeah, anyways, uh, we are coming into our uh, location where we're doing our last delivery, guys. Only have two and a half more miles to go and we'll be at our uh, customer here. We'll get this load off and then uh, I'm thinking about going down to a truck stop that's just down the road here. Go in there and take me a shower. And all that stuff and then at least I'll be good to go. I'll go down to my uh, Speed warning. pickup and that pickup isn't supposed to be ready Speed till 8 o'clock tonight. To so then uh, we'll go ahead and pick that up tonight and probably just stay right there at the customer. So anyways, let's go do our delivery guys. Things have changed a little bit ladies and gentlemen and that's exactly what I was suspecting. Yes, indeed I was. Well, they want me In to mile, take the entrance to the right on US 30 go West to uh, Lockbourne or Lockburn or whatever you want to call it that's there close by Columbus Ohio where I was this morning we'll pick up a load there that's just a trailer switch and then uh, go up to uh, Cornwall Ontario so change of plans well that ain't gonna hurt my feelings too much that's still some good miles, you know, going up to Cornwall is another 14 hours worth of driving to do and then from there to home is at least another two days worth of driving to do, so that's still giving me decent miles and then at least then I don't have to worry about uh, running out of hours, possibly do a reset on the road, and blah blah blah, go up there to the mountains in British Columbia and all that, so that's a In better deal for me anyways. Take the entrance to the right on US so that's what we're gonna do. Gonna make our way down there and pick it up. Yeah, I got about yeah, two and a half hours back there and go pick it up and we'll see if we can find us a parking space somewhere, I guess. And then uh, we'll be done for today. I got about five and a half hours uh, left on the clock so we should be able to uh, get some miles in yet today don't know exactly how far but we'll get some miles in I am coming into the Columbus Ohio area again yeah what do you expect that's where I gotta go pick up my load at right so we're about 15 miles away from my pickup right now and that sun over there is starting to go down it's not looking too shabby there I gotta say though Yes, indeed. Well, we will be going down on the 270 again, going down towards our pickup. Supposedly, it's a preloaded trailer, so we're just doing a trailer switch, and then uh, I'm probably going to go a little bit north on, uh, on the 71 there, and we'll probably call it a day. That's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, it's been a very busy, busy day today, but 
Hey, that's how life goes. Yeah. Got my four deliveries done and do a pickup yet today. That's that's some work, that's for sure. Some hard work. Ah, look at that. That sun is probably going to come and shine us in the uh, into the lens here in a minute just as we come around this bend. So, probably won't be able to see much. So, let me get out of here and we'll talk with you guys in a few. Let me tell you guys, it has been a very busy day or it has been a very busy day i guess i should have said uh but yeah we managed to go ahead and pick up our uh preloaded trailer from uh just outside of columbus ohio here and uh went a little bit of north of uh, columbus ohio here to the flying j and found us a parking spot and called it a day so here we are the next morning we had a good night's sleep went in and had me a good shower here last night i really needed one so now we have all that stuff taken care of so anyways we're getting ready to uh, get on down the road here we got to go to cornwall and uh, we're supposed to be there tomorrow not tomorrow but the day after tomorrow at 7 a.m in the morning so i got my work cut out i got 630 miles to go so uh mind you i'll be in canada i get more hours so it should be no problem getting there is I just want to be close there by a truck stop and that could sometimes be challenging but we'll see I might even call the customer and find out if I can park at their property for the night who knows but anyways we're done for today so I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll be back tomorrow so do all them things that make us love our job like thumbs up share the video you know all them things good leave a good comment down there below and uh, subscribe if you haven't we would love to have you on board we do daily vlogs here so appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you tomorrow